A year can change everything. A watershed year is the powerful story of love, loss, and redemption. Susan Schoenberger is a local Connecticut journalist and is here to talk about her debut novel. Welcome, Susan. Thank you I so much. i got to tell you, I loved this book. Oh, good. <laughs> I could not stop reading it. I started reading it yesterday afternoon and just, just all the way through. I, I think I finished about 1 a.m. this morning. Great. It's That's just one wonderful. of those books you don't want to put down. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about this. All right. First of all, it is about love lost, but in a different way. The two people, the two characters are people who are very dear friends, but also mm -hmm. loved each other, but didn't find out till later. Right. They don't really tell each other how they felt, and that becomes revealed during the course of the book. Do we need, should we share the plot a little bit here with people at home? Sure, sure. Um, it starts out with um, a woman who is a professor at a uh, college in Baltimore, and she studies the lives of the saints, which comes into play in her life as well. And she has this dear friend who has cancer. And he actually dies at the very early on in the book, but his story continues because he sends her a series of emails that she gets later on um, after he's gone. And those emails kind of tell her a few things that she didn't know and also kind of lead her to this trip that she takes to um, adopt a child. Exactly. Actually, was, mm -hmm. he actually was the one who suggested it in one of his emails right. that she would be the perfect mother. Right. Yeah. Although she's not married. Right. She decided to go ahead and have a mm -hmm. child. And so right. her next adventure is trying to adopt a child. Right, which becomes a very complicated process. But um, interesting because her family becomes involved and, and she deals with a lot of ups and downs and um, kind of has to learn to take charge of her own life. Now, where did you get the idea for this book? Um, well, part of the inspiration for it was uh, losing a, a dear friend of mine to cancer uh, about 15 years ago when I lived in Baltimore and worked there at the Baltimore Sun. And uh, that loss was just sort of an inspiration to me to write about. Um, I think by the time people are my age, they've all experienced the loss of a friend who died too young. And so I really felt like it was something everyone could relate to. And uh, that, was, that was kind of the trigger. And then the rest of it, you know, more, more than 90%, I would say, is just a story that I made up. So. Another one of my favorite char characters is the heroine's grandmother. Yes. You say she is actually someone that you know. She's definitely modeled on my, my grandmother, who was a true character. And everyone who knew her um, just absolutely felt she was one of a kind, so I used her as a model for that character. You have some really funny lines in this book as well. One of them is when the, um, the heroine says she wants to be a mother, and I believe it's her sister-in-law who, who says, it's not cracked up, it's not all that what it's cracked up to be. Right. And it's so true, you know, she's just like <laughs> taken aback, it's like, oh, well, yeah, I guess yeah. not, you know. It's kind of that grass is greener on the other exactly. side feeling. Yes. Yeah. It's a chick book. Um, yeah, you could say that. I think it's going to definitely appeal to women, and I'm hoping a lot of book groups. So that's kind of the market that we're going for. You actually started writing this book, what, uh, five years ago? Um, 2004, actually, okay. was when I started the writing. And yep. it took that long for this book to yeah, be published. Yeah, it's a long, long process. And, and I'm one of the lucky ones. I mean, I know a lot of great writers out there who go through the whole process and the pain of sort of finding an agent and finding a publisher and, you know, and still never quite get there and put all the pieces together. So it's very difficult to do. But now this mm -hmm. book, though, was actually written, most of it was written by 2006, which you won an award for it? I did. I won um, the William Faulkner William Wisdom Creative Writing Award, which is, uh, was a tremendous honor. And since then, I, I have revised it many, many times. Uh, all through the process. It actually had a different title. It, it, well, it was originally called Intercession, but my agent felt that a watershed year was a little more accessible. And a lot of things mm -hmm. happened to her, and I want to say, what and her name is, I just, Lucy. Lucy. Mm -hmm. A lot of things happened to Lucy. Right. In just one year. Yeah, that's and true. It, and actually, you can see that happening to, one, to anybody. Any one of us could go through what she did. Yeah, and I think that idea of just one year sort of your life ends up on one side of the fence or the other. And I think a lot of people have had that experience. So you might only see it when you look back. 
but it's it's a you know a familiar thing that a lot of things can change just very suddenly. And are you working on another book? I am. You already are. Yes, yes. <laughs> I have a complete first draft of a second novel. So. And will it? Does it? touch upon something very similar? It's not the same characters. I would say it's probably the same market, um, but it's a set of kind of quirky characters in a town in upstate New York and um, lots of really interesting things that happen to them and, you know, good intentions gone wrong and that kind of that kind of story. Have you always wanted to write a, a novel? Always, 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 right. But just never really, you know, looking at that blank screen is pretty intimidating so um, it took it took me a long time to kind of put things together. All right, now you we have three signings that we want to tell everybody about sure. and that first one is at Bristol Middle School and that's April 4th at 7 yep. p.m. and you're gonna be there at, also at Farmington Borders Bookstore April 14th at 7 p.m. and the third one is Tallinn Public Library April 27th at 7.30. Susan, again, loved the book. It should be a movie. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Let's hope so. <laughs>